This is the least excited I've ever been after a Yankees win. I feel nothing right now. I feel no joy, no overwhelming sense of hope. I feel nothing. This team has killed me. This team has single-handedly turned me into a pessimist. I'm feeling nothing right now. There's no good feelings coming out after this game. I just feel done. Um, e even with the win, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, it was a good win. Have it with Gio getting the home run there. Good seeing Nestor Cortez put on a solid performance. The Yankees once again get a run off a wild pitch, which nobody is better than this team at getting runs off of wild pitches, which I guess is a good thing, I guess. I really don't know. But it, it really is just such a... just Again, the loss today was so draining. The loss was so brutal that I, I, I can't get excited anymore about... But, uh, I can't get excited about this win. Maybe if they win two out of three against Seattle, I'll start to get back into it. But th but that loss was – and the loss against – whether it was the loss against An uh, the Angels earlier in the week and now this loss, I just th – this team has drained me, man. This team has drained me from any positivity. And, and, again, it should be because Nestor Cortez put on a really good performance tonight. And he's one of the one positives we can take away from this season is watching this kid develop. He's one of the – again, seeing Joe hit that home run. But, uh, again, after a lot when, – when you lose like that, when you lose like the Yankees lost today against the Mets, I mean, this should be a two out of, we should win two out of three in this series. We should be up two out of three. But no, it's, we only got one win. We were lucky to get one win. Again, I should be more positive, but I'm sorry, folks. This team has killed my positivity. At least, at least for now, this team has killed my positivity. The good thing is that we get a day off tomorrow. We don't have to watch this team. We don't have to watch any more of this. And then starting tomorrow, or starting Tuesday, we get three against Seattle. I really have no idea how that's, that's going to go. I just hope that we can stay, after this series, we can just stay about 500. But I really, uh, there's, there's no confidence at this point. Again, there's no starting pitcher now that I can totally believe in on this team. Not even Cole anymore. And by the way, I got to say this. Why was Chapman warming up? Why was Chapman even considering warming up? Why is he not sent down to Triple A? Sorry, just I, I, I'm usually not this negative, but this is what this team does, man. When you lose like again, when you lose like you did, you do against the Mets earlier today, in a way that was very similar to the way you lost against the Angels earlier in the week. You you, you change, man. That's what happens. Anyway, look, I hope you're all enjoying your Fourth of July. I hope you had a wonderful Fourth of July. I hope you didn't have to waste any of it watching this team. I hope you were able to enjoy your freedom, your independence. I hope you were able to enjoy all of that. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back on Tuesday, breaking down the first of the three games between the Yankees and the Mariners. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe down below. I'll see you guys Tuesday. Happy 4th. Take care. God bless.